afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Delta St. John's High School, where today the homestanding Blue Jays welcome in the Spencerville Bearcats. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Tom Von Sossen and our entire WSN crew. And, Tom, I get excited about Saturday afternoon clashes. You've got two non-league schools here playing. What I really get excited about is when you get a matchup with the caliber of talent we're going to see today. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. I said it feels like a tournament atmosphere. The gym is completely packed. It's about 97 degrees in here, and there's just an exciting feeling right now. We take a look at the Bearcats. The visitors that come in, Tom, at 13-1, 4-0 in the Northwest Conference. They've won seven in a row. Tom, they're a really good ball club. We take a look at the homestanding Jays. They come in at nine and three, four and one in the MAC. They won last night, a big win over for sales, 56-45. And Tom, they are led by an outstanding freshman. He's the coach's son, Cameron Elwer, averages almost 24 points a game. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Let's take a look at the starting lineups for the visitors. The Bearcats from Spencerville, they'll start number three, Josh Henline. He's a 6'2 senior at 15.9 a game. Number five, Evan Osting, is a 6'2 junior at 5.9 a game. Number 11, Dylan Smith, is a 6'2 senior at 14.1 a game. Number 23, Carter Sutoff is a 6'6 junior at 8.5 a game. And number 35, Dylan Cook is a 5'11 forward at 1.9 a game. For the homestanding Jays, they'll counter with number two, Landon Grothaus, a 5'10 senior. He gets 13 a game. Number five, Nolan Schwinnen is a six foot senior at 3.2 a game. Number 11, Cameron Elwood, the outstanding freshman at 23.2 a game, a six foot freshman. Number 12, Austin Munter is a 5'11 junior at 2.7. And rounding out the starting five is number 33, Aaron Munter, a 6'2 junior at 5.7 a game. So we are just about underway. Spencerville will come in this game averaging 66 points a game. Double St. John's counters at 54 a game. So offense is the game today, partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You take a look at Spencerville and some of their key wins this year. They beat a really good St. Mary's team. The one big win in the conference, they beat Crestview. Crestview has one loss in the league. They beat an outstanding Audeville team. Their only loss this year was a 55-45 loss at Kaleida on a Saturday night. So uh, obviously they maybe <laughs> avenge that later on. We'll see how that works out in the tournament trail. So we are just about underway as Aaron Munter and Carter Sutoff will jump it up from Delta St. John's, Robert Arnzen Gymnasium. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm right. Seven fifteen in the first quarter. Danny Holbrook, Tom Von Sassen from Delta St. John's High School. This is Henline. Little jumper from the left side. Out of the rim. Back down to St. John's. There you see Cameron Elwer, the freshman, pulls up from way beyond the three-point line, goes off the arc and go back to the Spencerville Bearcats. 
You're right, Tom. This this gym is, has a great feel to it, and it's really warm in here, and it just takes me back to every game I ever went to in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. <laughs> Bearcats push it down to the post. A little bit of turnaround from the right side, goes off the rim. That was number 23, Carter Sutoff with a little half hook there. Here comes Grothaus and the Jays, they'll kick it back out. Dribble drive on the baseline, it's cut off by the Bearcats defenders. It'll go back to Grothaus, swing it back around. Spencer on a man-to-man -man defense. This is Grothaus up top, guarded by Cook. To go down to Elwer, a little fade away, and he knocks it in. He sure does. There's a nice dribble drive on the right side. Goes off the rim. Ball comes down. Elwer rebounds it, but he is fouled. And we've got a foul on the Bearcats. Yeah, they... Evan Osting with a foul. That's his first. Our scoreboard is provided by Charles River and Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Charles River is our scoreboard sponsor. And you, you look at Elwer, Tom, and you look at the stats on that young man, and he's among the leaders in the MAC in getting to the free throw line, which tells you that he will go into the middle. He's not he's just a shooter. He's a complete player. Nice drive there. Ball goes off the rim. That was Aaron Munter with the missed shot. The ball comes down to Henline. He kicks it back up. Spencerville tries to push it down to the middle. Kick it back out to Henline. Henline goes foul line extended. Ball goes away. It's torn apart by the Blue Jays. Here comes Elwer with the ball on the right side. Elwer tried to go behind his back. And he got the ball caught on his backside. Goes back to Spencerville on the turnover. So everybody trying to figure each other out right now. 5.18 to go. Jays lead 2 to nothing on the Charles River scoreboard. So they will go 8-9 deep on that bench. Coach's son, Owen Sensabaugh. This is him. A little jumper from the side. Knocks down the triple. Evan Osting, excuse me, on the triple. He gives the Bearcats the 3-2 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Roadhouse dribble drive into the middle. Tries to go into the paint. Ball's deflected. It comes back to the Bearcats. They'll bring it down on the offensive set. This is Dylan Smith out to Osting. Trying to find Henline on the cut. Henline takes it inside, right-handed drive, misses, shot goes back up, rebound by Carter Setoff, and he gives the Bearcats the 5-2 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. <laughs> Elwood thought about the three, he pulls up to the foul line, he's fouled, he's gonna go to the line to shoot two. So a nice decision by that young man. So Cameron Elwer, a leading scorer for the Jays at 23.2 a game. Goes to the line, first one on the way up. Rims in and out. Checking in for the Jays is number 15, Ethan Druckmiller, and number four, Jack Kirker, excuse me, Gerker. Into the game for the Bearcats, number 13, Owen Sensiball. That's Coach Kevin Sensiball's son. Very good shooter from the outside. He absolutely has what's to add. You're right. Bearcats lead 5-3 on the Charles River scoreboard. Thought about taking the three. They'll go back out to Henline. Sends the ball with the ball up top. Back to Henline. Henline, a little jumper from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Jays. This is Nolan Schwinnen with the rebound. Swing it back around. Gerger out top. They'll go back to Elwer. Three ball from Grothaus on the outside, and it's good. Landon Grothaus knocks in the triple, and he gives the Jays the 6-5 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Sends the ball over to Henline. Henline swings it around to Dylan Smith. They'll go back to sends the ball, back to Smith. Try to put it down on the block. This is Carter Sutoff. Sutoff with the ball down low. Little turnaround half hook. Off the mark, nice play, but it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Cameron Elwer. 
They're getting good looks. Well, and you can see it's a concerted effort by the Bearcats to know where Cameron Elwer is at all times because wherever he is, that defense is shifting and they are moving that backside to protect that rim. <laughs> Here come the Jays. Swing it around to Grothaus. Grothaus, a little dribble drive on the left side. Oh, just off the mark. Rebound comes down to number 23, Carter set off. Here comes Henline. Kicks it out to Sensabaugh. And Sensabaugh throws it into the backcourt. And that'll be an over. I was going to say, I, I thought they were going to call that, but then I didn't know for sure, but they called the over and back, and it was. Dylan Smith ran after, but they got the over and back, and it'll go back to the Jays. So Cameron and Elwer bring it up. Cameron and Elwer guarded by Dylan Smith, senior guarding a freshman here. Goes off of his foot. Here comes Owen Sensball. Gets it into Smith. Smith brings it up the right side, knocks it in. Makes it 7 6 on the Charles River scoreboard. This is Grothaus back to Elwer. Grothaus loses the ball on the ground, gets it picked back up. And they'll swing it back around, set it back up on the offensive set. 219 to go, first quarter. There's a little jumper from the foul line. It's good. Cameron Elwer knocks in the deuce. He's got four on the night to lead the Jays, and it's 8-7 on the Charles River scoreboard. Henline kicks it back out. Smith on the top of the key. They'll try to push the ball down to Sutoff as he's trying to get position down on the low post. Henline swings about. Skip pass over to Smith. Back to Henline. Three ball on the way from Henline on the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Landon Grothaus. Grothaus will bring it down the middle. Goes up against Henline. Loses the ball. Owen Sensabaugh corrals it. And it'll go back to Henline and the Bears. They move really well on the defensive end. This is Sensabaugh from the right side. Three ball on the way. And it's off the mark. Rebound comes down to number 15 for the Jays. And that's Ethan Druckmiller. This is Elwer, kicks it back out. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Jack Gerker with the big time splash, and he gives the Jays the 11-7 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Carter Orr with the ball down low, tries to go up on the right side, misses the shot. Ball comes down to the Jays. Here comes Elwer and the Jays. They push it down the right side. Edward dribble drive on the baseline, kicks it back out. Three ball from the top of the key on the way, and it's good. Aaron Munter, the 6'2 junior, knocks in the triple, and the Jays have doubled up the Bearcats 14-7 on the Charles River scoreboard. Sends the ball with the ball, goes to the foul line, goes in the middle. Little turnaround jumper. Oh, banks it in. There you see another skill set from Owen Sensabaugh. The freshman knocks in the jumper. And he makes it 14-9 on the Charles River scoreboard. So 13 seconds to go. Jays have the ball. This is Elwer with the ball up top. Jack Gerker setting a screen. Elwer with the ball. Five seconds. This is Elwer. Elwer goes to the right side. Ball goes out of bounds. Elwer was looking for a foul. Nothing was called. It'll go back to the Bearcats with 1.1 second to go in the first quarter. So Carter Orr will inbounds the ball. He'll try to get it to Henline. He's getting Henline half court. Henline with a jumper from way out, and he misses off the mark. So after one quarter from Delta St. John's High School, the Blue Jays lead the Spencerville Bearcats 14 to nine. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
Our game is presented by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or visit callmattsheatingandcooling.com to schedule a free estimate. Our premier sponsor, Matt's Heating and Cooling. So everything we wanted, partner, in that first quarter, we got to see some three balls on the way. We got to see some inside play, some really good defense, and some good coaching. So 7.57 to go. Danny Burke, Tom Von Sossen from Delphi St. John's High School. A big non-league matchup here today between the Bearcats of Spencerville and homestanding Jays from Delphi St. John's. This is Owen Sensabaugh with the ball, kicks it back out. In the game now for the Bearcats is number 45, Blake Summers, the 6'5 shooting guard for the Bearcats. As he post up down low. He'll turn left hand and nice little half hook and he knocks it in, Blake Summers. Showing you why they like this kid so much as he knocks him through to make it 14-11 on the Charles River scoreboard. Try to get the ball in the middle. They'll kick it back out to Schwinnin. Schwinnin goes over to Elwer. Elwer loses the handle on the ball. And they're going to say it goes back to Delta St. John's. So, boy, Spencerville gets right up in your face and chest to chest. Oh, nice little alley-oop to Elwer. A nice backdoor screen, and Elwer scores. He's got six on the night to lead the Jays, and they lead 16 to 11. There you see Henline go baseline. He gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe. Home style happens here. So Henline goes to the line. Entering the game now for the Bearcats. Number five, Evan Osting checks back in. Henline lets it fly, and he knocks it in. Josh Henline. Remember him from the gridiron days, the quarterback for the football team. Very good athlete that young man is. And it's 16-13 on the Charles River scoreboard. Edward dumps it down low, down to Aaron Munter. Aaron Munter turns around to the right side, takes it up against Summers. The ball goes off the other side. Here comes Sensabaugh on the Bearcats. Swing it back out top. This is Sensabaugh. They'll go to the free throw line, take it all the way in, kick it back out. A little jumper from the... Mid post, the ball comes off the rim and it'll go back to the Jays. Here comes Elwer, a little shake and bake, fires it up, off the mark, rebound comes down to Hen or excuse me, to Sensabaugh. Big rebound for the young man. This is Henline at the top, back out to Sensabaugh. He goes dribble drive to the right side, three ball from the left side on the way. Ostings knocks in the triple. Evan Osting, the 6'2 junior, knocks in his second triple tonight, and it's 16 all on the Charles River scoreboard. <laughs> so here come the Jays. We're all knotted up at 16. Patient on offense. This is Grothaus from the top of the key. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bearcats. This is Henline with the ball, guarded by Elwer. They'll kick it back out to Osting. Dribble drive there, they'll kick it back out. Henline guarded by Elwer out top. Little turnaround jumper, off the mark. Rebound comes down and they put it back up. Carter or the 6'2 sophomore, Johnny on the spot, picks up the loose ball, knocks it in and gives the Bearcats the 18-16 lead. Nice cut by the Jays. You saw that, number 33, Aaron Munter, the 6'2 junior, gets a nice screen at the high post, goes to the rim, knocks it in to tie it up at 18-all. This is Henline. 
They'll swing it back over to Sensabaugh. Sensabaugh goes to the foul line extended. He'll kick it back out. Summers three on the way, and it's good. Blake Summers, the 6'5 sophomore. He's a tough matchup, Tom. He's got length. Absolutely. This is Nolan Schwinnen with the ball up top. He'll swing it over to Aaron Munter. Munter goes to the foul line. Then they've got him on travel. Yep, young man, you move that second foot. They're going to call it every time. Entering the game for the Bearcats, number 23, Carter Sutoff, and number 11, Dylan Smith. Boy, Tom, they'll go eight, nine deep on that, be on that bench for the Bearcats. We got a timeout on the floor. When we come back, more action from Delta St. John's High School. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And Tom, you're seeing Coach Sensabaugh from Spencerville. He's rotating a lot of kids in. And talk to us a little bit about why that is so important on a game like tonight. Yeah. Yep. Sure. In the game right now for the Dale for St. John's Blue Jays, a six foot sophomore TJ Wirtz, number 20, has entered the game. This is Dylan Smith as he's guarded out top by Grothaus. Go back to Summers at the high post. Summers is guarded by Wirtz. They'll swing it back to Smith. Back out to Osting. Osting off the mark, tries the three ball. Finds nothing on that one. It goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the St. John's Blue Jays. I'm going to rush that play a little bit. A little bit of heat check, right? <laughs> Nice back door, and there's going to be a foul. You saw the cut there by Austin Munter, the 5'11 junior, as he beats his man on the left side to the back door, misses the shot, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Carter Sutoff. That's his first, fourth team foul for the Bearcats. Another Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw. Home style happens here with Lee's famous recipe, and he knocks in both of them. So a nice job there by number 12 for the Jays, Austin Munter. As he goes to the line, knocks in two. Josh Henline enters back into the game for the Bearcats. He got a quick breather. Good matchup out top here. Dylan Smith guarded by Grothaus. 21-20 on the scoreboard now. Bearcats lead a nice little half jumper there by Dylan Smith. As he knocks it in. Smith averages 14.1 a game for the Bearcats. This is Grothaus guarded by Henline. They'll swing it back around. Aaron Munter with the ball as he goes to the foul line extended. Back out to Elwer. Little dribble drive, foul line jumper. Off the mark. Comes down to Henline and the Bearcats. Skip pass across the floor. Summer screens up top. Dylan Smith with a jumper. And it's good. Dylan Smith back-to-back -back goals, and he knocks them in. And he, no, yeah, absolutely. Gives the Bearcats the 25-20 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. This is Grothaus, gets a screen out top by Wirtz, and he misses off the back iron. Rebound comes down to Wirtz. Grothaus dribble drive, kicks it back out. This is Elwer from top of the key. Off the mark, and rebound comes down to Henline. This is Dylan Smith up top. He'll go to the middle of the floor, tries to drive it in, drops the ball, and it helps him out because he knocks in the deuce. The Jays will take a timeout with 2.25 to go. We'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Double St. John's, where right now with 2.25 to go in the second quarter, the Bearcats from Spencerville come into town and have a 27-20 lead. And boy, a good timeout by Coach Elwer. Uh, he was starting to lose the grips on that a little bit. Exactly, yeah. There's another backdoor cut there by Aaron Munter as he is giving the Bearcats all kinds of trouble and he's getting free, but that ball was swatted back out underneath the basket and it'll go back to the Jays. Yeah, you're right. This is Elwer with the ball and they're gonna say there was a foul on top. Carter Orr, the 6'2 sophomore, good looking player. He's logged a lot of minutes here for the Bearcats in the first half. And right now he's got the unenviable task of guarding Elwer. And Elwer tries to come in and I thought he was falling down there. I thought they were gonna get a travel call. What did you see, Tom? Right. <laughs> what do we know? <laughs> and St. John's will take it out underneath their basket. They'll swing it back around. This is Grothaus with the ball up top, guarded by Henline. Grothaus goes to the right side, and a nice dribble drive by Landon Grothaus, the 5'10 senior, averaging 13 a game, and he closes the gap at 27-22. There's a turnover from the Bearcats. It'll go back to the Blue Jays. They'll bring it down the right side of the floor. This is Grothaus. Splits in the middle, little left-handed layup. He misses off the mark, goes out of bounds, and it looks like it's going to go back, I believe, to Spencerville. Yeah, he's really good. Now I understand all the hype with Roadhouse and Elwer, a couple of really good guards for the St. John's Blue Jays. This is Dylan Smith up top. He gets a screen from Summers, tries to go to the left side. He'll go back out to Henline. Henline guarded by Elwer. Three ball on the way from the left side. Rims in and out. Dylan Smith with the three, and he misses that off the mark. Rebound comes down to Elwer. They're down 27-22. Elwer goes to the foul line, takes it inside, up, up amongst the trees, and he's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two as he's fouled by number 23 for the Bearcats, Carter Sutoff. I really, really like Cameron Elwer's ability to put the ball on the floor and go to the rim. He does a nice job of creating contact. And uh, I, again, I, I go back to the play before that where he was creating a contact, but he got the call. Right. Yeah. Our three-point sponsor today, before or after the game, Delphi Sporting Events should always include the Rustic Cafe. Great food, great fun, and great friends make it that way. The Rustic in Delphi is our three-point sponsor. This is Henline. Out over to Summers. Back out to Smith. Smith goes to the foul line. Ducks under to go for the shot, and he's going to go to the line. He gets fouled, and he'll shoot two at the Lee's famous recipe free throw strike. Smith with the first shot on the way, and he knocks it in. Makes it 29 to 24 on the Charles River scoreboard. Second one on the way, and it rolls over to the front of the rim. We're under a minute to go here until halftime. Bearcats lead 29 24. This is Grothaus, guarded up top by Henline. Elwer comes up, gets the ball. He'll kick it back out. They'll go back to Grothaus. Swing it back to Grothaus. He'll set it back up with 30 seconds to go. 
This is Grothaus with a dribble drive. It's going to go down, and they're going to call it travel. And it looked like Henline, he got not, or got his feet tangled up with Josh Henline, but they're going to say it was a travel. Sure. So Dylan Smith will bring the ball down. We're at 25 seconds to go. Bearcats lead 29-24 on the Charles River scoreboard. Screen up top by Summers. Smith takes it inside, throws it up, goes off the backboard, and they're going to get, looks to me like they're going to get Dylan Cook over the back. So Nolan Schwinnen, the six-foot senior, averages 3.2 a game. He'll go to the line to try to cut into this 29-24 lead with 12 seconds to go. First one's on the way, and it's good. Makes it 29-25 on the Charles River scoreboard. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Metzger Financial Services is our timeout sponsor. Second one's on the way, and it's good. Cuts the lead to 29-26. Here comes the Bearcat with 10 seconds to go. This is Dylan Smith out top. He gets a screen from Summers. They'll go over to Sensabaugh, back to Smith. A little turnaround jumper. Almost goes in and after one half of basketball from Delta St. John's High School, the Spencerville Bearcats lead 29 to 26. We come back with second half action right here on WOSN. Our game is presented by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or visit callmattsheating.com to schedule a free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling is our premier sponsor. So here come the Jays down 29-26. This is Landon Grothaus. They'll swing it back up top. Spencerville in their man-to-man. -man. Grothaus is with the ball. Elwer post up down low. Henline swats it away. Goes back to the Bearcats. This is Smith with the ball. He takes it up. Little jumper, and it goes off the side of the rim. Comes down to Elwer. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Elwer step back three off the front of the rim. Well, you thought if he had just stepped in, he might have knocked that one down. It goes off the front. And a good cut there by Dylan Cook as he runs the floor. The big man almost knocks it in. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering need. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. They are the free throw sponsor. So Dylan Cook knocks down the free throw, makes it 30 to 26 on the Charles River scoreboard. Second one on the way, and he knocks that one in. So Dylan Smith converts the first two for the Bearcats in the half, and they lead 31-26 with 7.17 to go on the Charles River scoreboard. Swing it back out to Grothaus. Kicks back out. Three ball from the right side on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Bearcats. That was Nolan Schwinnen with the three try. This is Smith with the ball. He gets a screen up top. He'll throw the try to go for Josh Henline. Throws the ball away. Turnover goes back to the St. John's Blue Jays. This is Landon Grothaus guarded out top by Smith. Little jumper from the foul line extended. Goes off the mark. And right now, everything's going away from the basket. First half, they attacked that basket. And now it appears they're trying to create some space between them and the defender. This is Smith. Kick it back out to Osting. Go to Henline, cutting down low. Back to Osting. Three ball on the way from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Dylan Cook. He'll go to Smith. Back to Henline. Henline thought about the three. This is Smith with the dribble drive. Little reverse play, and it goes off the iron. So Dylan Smith with the reverse layup, and he misses it. It'll come down to Grothaus. 
This is Elwer out top. Goes to the foul line, little jumper from the foul line. Goes off the back iron, comes down to the Bearcats. Here comes Henley and the Bearcats. Hosting gets a screen out. Hosting gets a screen out top from Sutoff. It dribble drive to the right side. Goes out of bounds and goes off Evan Hosting. It'll go back to the Jays. So butterfingers for both squads right now as we're turning the ball over at a lot. We'll take a time out of the booth. You're watching high school sports on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Schwinnin inbounds the ball to Grothaus. Grothaus will bring it down for the Jays. Spencer leads 31-26, 5.39 to go on the Charles River scoreboard. Danny Hobart, Tom Von Sossen from Delphi St. John's High School. This is Cameron Elward, double teamed up top. Ball's on the baseline. They'll go back out to Grothaus, little dribble drive. They'll bring it back out. Grothaus will reset the offense. This is Grothaus as he goes down the baseline, tries to reverse it, and he's just thwarted there by Carter Sutoff. The 6'6 junior gets in the way, and it goes back to the Bearcats. This is Smith guarded by Grothaus. And we've got a foul, yeah, foul away from the ball, looks like. Yeah. Austin Munner with the foul there, as Tom said. Henline will trigger the ball underneath the basket. They'll go out top to Smith. Smith guarded by Grothaus on the top of the key. This is Henline with the ball. Three ball on the way. Nothing goes off the iron. Rebound comes down. Bearcats try, almost lose the ball, and it goes back out to Smith. And they're going to say a block on Grothaus. Landon Grothaus went down hard. Josh Smith went into him, and they're going to say fouls on Landon Grothaus. That's his second, so he's going to take a seat here. So a big change for the Blue Jays. Almost like a line change in hockey. <laughs> Henline, a little jumper from the right side. He struggled all afternoon. He... This is Elward, tries to dribble drive to the middle. Osting playing really good defense, as are all the Bearcats right now. They'll swing it back around, try to go down to the low post. This is. Ball comes back to Henline. He'll go up to the left side, and he knocks it in. Josh Henline with the left-handed layup, and he gives the Bearcats the 33-26 lead on the Charles River School Board. Swing it back around to Gerker. Gerker comes back to Colin Feathers, who's checked in the game. It goes off of his leg. It's a scramble for the ball. Goes back to the Jays. They were fortunate to get that ball back. And it'll come to Cameron Elwer, who brings it across the half-court line. He tries to dribble drive against Osting. And he takes the jumper and knocks it in. Cameron Elwer, he's got 11 on the afternoon to lead the Jays. Nice pass there by the Bearcats. Almost loses that. Henline thought about taking the three. He'll bring it inside. And it goes off the rim. Rebound comes down. And we've got a foul on the play. He has. You're absolutely right, Tom. I was going to say, he's, he's done a nice job. So Carter Orr doing the dirty work. Rebounding the ball. Taking it back up. He'll go to the line. First one on the way. Goes off the left side. Checking into the game now, Blake Summers, number 45, and number 13, Owen Sensiball. So <laughs> if you don't like firepower, you're not going to like these two guys because they can really stroke it. <laughs> right. Oh, absolutely. 
knocks the second one in. It makes it 34-28 on the Charles River scoreboard. Danny Holbrook and Tom Von Sossen from Delphi St. John's High School. This big non-league matchup between the Bearcats of Spencerville and the homestanding Blue Jays. Gotten all we've asked for today. A 34-28 game with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Ball comes out to Gerker. Gerker swings it around to Grothaus. He got a screen up top by Munter. He's going to go baseline. Nothing there. They'll swing it back around. This is Munter with the ball. He'll get it back out to Elwer. Elwer guarded by Or. Shot goes up from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. There's that guy again, Carter Orr. Three ball on the way, goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Grothaus. Not the shot I don't think Coach Sensabaugh wanted. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> you're right. Spencerville's played a terrific defensive game. And, and, and if you're a Jays fan, you're only down six, and you really haven't played well in the third quarter. There's a steal and a nice job by Dylan Smith getting his hands on the ball, takes it up, and he scores. Dylan Smith, the junior, excuse me, the senior guard's got a big night. He's got 12 on the night, and he makes it 36-28 on the Charles River scoreboard. Nice job by the Jays getting on the back side. That's number 15, Ethan Droopmiller. The 6'3 senior knocks in the deuce to make it 36-30 on the, excuse me, 38-30 on the Charles River scoreboard. So Henline will go to the line. I inadvertently said 38-30. I'm having a little trouble seeing my scoreboard here. We've got the bucket in the way there. <laughs> right, yeah. 36-30, headline will go to the line. And anyways, the scoreboard just changed again. So it's 37-30, Bearcats lead. Entering the game for the Bearcats is number 23, Carter Sutoff, and number five, Evan Osteen. So one shot left for Henline. I think when Henline went to the rim and he got that bucket, I think it's really settled him down because the last three or four minutes, he's played quality offensive ball. Jays will bring it down. Elwer thought about pulling the trigger from behind the line. He goes to the free throw line. They'll kick it out to Grothaus. Grothaus guarded by Sensabaugh. And they're going to get Owen Sensabaugh on the push. Tom, the Bearcats absolutely get up chest to chest on the defensive end. Blue Jays down 38, 30, 105 to go. Well, let's not forget, Coach Sensabaugh played for uh, Coach Doherty and Coach Campoli at ONU. So you want to talk about defensive-minded coaches. There's... <laughs> That's right. Uh, Elward tries to a little turnaround fade there, and he goes to the line. He'll shoot two. Fouls on number two for the Bearcats. That's... They said number two, but... Uh... Edward goes to the line. First one on the way, and he knocks it in. He's got 12 on the afternoon to lead the Bearcats. Excuse me, lead the Jays. 54 seconds here in the third quarter. Bearcats lead 38-31. Second one on the way, and he knocks that in. He's got 13 on the night. Yeah, Coach, Coach Norris, hard-nosed coach. This is Sensabaugh, goes to the foul line, gets it back out to Henline. Henline over to Smith. Smith gets a screen from Summers. They're going to say Summers, a little bit of a push there. Forty-four seconds even to go. Bearcats lead 
This is Grothaus out top. The senior guard averages 13 a game. He'll swing it over to Schwinnen. Nice cut to the rim. Aaron Munter, the 6'2 junior, knocks in the deuce to make it 38-34 on the Charles River scoreboard. Smith guarded by Grothaus out top. A nice matchup. Those two really going at it. Down to 10. This is Smith with the ball. Tries to go baseline. A little step back jumper. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Carter Sutoff. I thought he went over the back of the Blue Jay, but they didn't call it. Carter Sutoff gives the Bearcats the 40-34 lead as we go to the fourth quarter on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Stick around after the game. Check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award. Tom Von Sossen and I will pick the winner tonight, and they will be our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Carter Orr triggers the ball into Dylan Smith. He's guarded up top by Austin Munter. Swinging around to Osting. This is Smith with the ball. Owen sends a ball from the left side. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Another rebound by Carter Sutoff. The 6'6 man, the junior, starting to show his muscle in the middle. There's a dribble drive by Smith, and he knocks it in. Dylan Smith. He's got 14 on the night to lead the Bearcats. 42-34 with 7.26 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is Elwer, swings it over to Munter. Munter with a three ball, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Carter Orr. They'll get it out to Evan Ostings, who'll set up the offense. Yeah, are they going to say Carter Orr on the illegal screen? Yeah, they are. Jack Gerker takes a seat for the Jays, and Landon Grothaus gets his rest, and he'll bring it back in. This is Cameron Elwer with the ball. He'll give it up to Grothaus. Nice backdoor cut by Elwer, and it's going to go off of the Jays, and it'll go back to the Bearcats, and they lead 42-34. So Jays in danger of being down double digits here if the Bearcats can go down and make anything here. The Rustic Cafe is our three-point sponsor tonight. Before and after the game, Delphi Sporting Events should always include the Rustic. Great food, great fun, and great friends. Make it that way at the Rustic in Delphi. So, missed shot there by the Bearcats. This is Elwer, tries to go to the middle. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. Rebound comes down to number 23, Carter Sutoff. They'll kick it out to Orr. This is Orr from the left side. He'll kick it back out. Henline from the right side, three ball on the way. He misses everything. Rebound comes down to Elwer. Now we're the dribble drive, and a nice job of getting contact there against number 24, Carter Orr. The 6'2 sophomore was trying to contain him. Boy, Elwer's got a lot of moves in that repertoire. <laughs> Elwer with the free throw. He's got 14 on the night. Leads St. John's. 42-35 on the... Charles River scoreboard. Second one off the back iron. Rebound comes down to Dylan Smith. Smith will bring it down the middle of the floor. He'll set it up. He'll get a screen out top from Sutoff. Goes on the right side and knocks it in. Dylan Smith scores again. He's got 16 on the night. And the Bearcats lead 44-35 on the Charles River scoreboard. And he goes to the right side. He feels comfortable on that right side. There's Elwer with a step back jumper. He misses that shot. Ball goes out of bounds. The save goes back to the Bearcats.
Entering the game now for the Jays is number four, Jack Gerker. They'll set Nolan Schwinnin. He'll get a rest with 5.43 to go in the contest. Smith up top. He's guarded by number 12, Austin Munter. They'll go inside. Ball goes off of number 23, Carter Sutoff. That were almost traveled there. Five fourteen to go. This is Elwer. He'll go to the foul line. Little spin around, turnaround jumper. It goes off the mark, and he's really struggling in this half. Elwer from three, from the top of the key, off the mark, in and out. So Cameron Elwer misses back-to-back -back shots, and we've got a foul on the defensive end for the Jays. Four fifty-seven to go. We'll take a timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our game is presented by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or visit callmattsheating.com to schedule a free estimate. Well, both you and I have coached, and we've told our kids in the past, defense travels, and right here is a prime example. When your offense isn't clicking, your defense can win you basketball games. This is Henline with the ball. He's guarded by Munter up top. Henline with a nice drive, and they're going to say Henline charged. So. Number five, Nolan Schwinnen enters the game now for the Jays. This is Grothaus out top. They'll kick it down low. Push it into Druckenmiller. Back out to Grothaus. Grothaus guarded by Smith. They'll go back into Druckenmiller. Tries a little turnaround. Tries to chest bump his defender up top, but it doesn't work. And Grothaus falls down, and he's going to go out of bounds. No foul called. They're going to say Grothaus steps out of bounds. This is Henline with the ball. Gets a screen from Summers. Summers rolls towards the basket. Henline getting all kinds of contact when he goes to the towards the rim. So Josh Henline will go to the line. Josh is a 6'2 senior guard, averages 15.9 a game. But what I like about this young man is even though he hasn't hit a lot of shots tonight, he's not got himself out of the offense. He stays in the flow, and I like that. He knocks down the first one. Yeah, they do. They guard the heck out of you. It's another Lee's famous recipe free throw by the Bearcats. They lead 46-35 with under four minutes to go. Jays will swing it around. This is Nolan Schwinning with the ball. Gets it out to Colin Feathers. Feathers swings it over to Gerker. Gerker guarded by Henline. Try to get it to Elwer. Elwer cuts to the free throw line. A little dribble drive down the right side. Three ball from the right side by Feathers, and it goes off the mark, gets his own rebound, goes baseline, kicks it back inside. They'll swing it back around. They'll go back to Elwer at the top of the key. 3.29 to go. Elwer dribble drive on the right side, takes it up. He's fouled. He's going to miss the shot, but he's going to get two attempts. No, you're right.
Elward goes to the line, knocks in the first one. Elward goes back to the line. Got 16 on the night. Lead the Jays in scoring. Makes it 46-37 with 3.24 to go. This is Smith. Oh, and sends it off on the right side. Off the mark. Rebound by Sutoff, and he knocks it in. Carter Sutoff, the 6'6 junior. How big has he been this half, Tom? There's Owen Sensabaugh with a foul out top, almost gets the ball back to himself. <laughs> right. Now we're at the line, it's the first one, knocks that down, he's got 17 on the night. Second one on the way, and it's good. Now you can see why he's amongst the leaders in the MAC at the free throw line, because he's got a knack for getting to the line. Here come the Bearcats up 48-39 with 2.50 to go. Finds Sutoff underneath, and he knocks it in. Carter Sutoff, the 6'6 junior, has been fantastic the second half for the Bearcats, and he gives them the 50-39 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. There you see another rustic cafe three attempt by Elwer, and it goes off the mark at 224 mark. Bearcats lead 50 39, trying to close this one out from Robert Arms and Gymnasium here on Delphi St. John's. There's a drive by Smith, and he's going to go to the line to shoot two. So Dylan Smith will go to the line for a Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. All these sponsors, I'm, I'm hungry for Lee's famous recipe chicken. <laughs> 216 to go. Danny Holbrook, Tom Bond, Sasson. We've enjoyed you following us on this broadcast today, this Saturday afternoon. Two fantastic clubs here. Delta St. John's hosting Spencerville. How about the cheerleaders at halftime, Tom? 101 little cheerleaders. Uh, there were little kids everywhere on that floor. So a great community effort there by the cheerleaders here at Delphi St. John's. 101 went to their clinic there, so good for them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> those kids, <laughs> those little girls did great. So Dylan Smith knocks down another one. He's got 17 on the night. Dylan averages 14, so he's got 18. He's four above his average, and he gives the Bearcats the 52-39 lead. Here come the Jays trying to cut in that lead. Elward thought about the three. Three from the right side, and he knocks it in. Cameron Elward knocks in the three. He's got 21 on the night to lead all scores. 52-42 on the Charles River scoreboard. Smith went to the free throw line, and the ball, or he slipped on the free throw line. They're, I don't, they, I thought they're, yeah. Sure. He, he did. You're absolutely right. I thought they'd come out and clean the floor because he did slip on something. And it, it is 100 degrees in here. No wonder we haven't seen more of that today. This is Smith up top, 142 to go. Guarded by Drew Boggs up top. Takes it inside. Thought about taking the three, Henline will bring it back out. So Spencerville is content with holding the ball and they'll go to the free throw line. And we're gonna see a whole lot of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Henline goes to the line for his first one and he knocks it in Josh Henline, the senior guard. Gives the Bearcats the 53-42 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Second one on the way, and it's good. 
54 42, 129 to go. Elwer will bring it down, guarded by Evan Osteen. He goes to the right side, tries to go up, kicks it back out. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. That was another Rusty Cafe three attempt by number 33 for the Jays, Aaron Munter. Misses that one, it'll go back to the Bearcats with 1.15 to go, and they've got a 12 point lead. They'll get the ball into Henline as they get it going away from the basket. So Josh Henline will bring it down. Kicked out of bounds, it'll go back to the Bearcats. That was number 10, Colin Feathers on the defense of that play. And a big round of applause for Carter Sutoff, the 6'6 junior who had a great second half for the Bearcats. This is Smith out top. He leads the Bearcats with 18 today. And we'll get a foul out top with 59 seconds to go in the Bearcats lead 54-42. Stick around for our Stolly Insurance Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. Tom Von Sauce and I will pick a winner when we come back from the break. I, I got my eye on a guy right now that may win that award. He's had a heck of a game. <laughs> Dylan knocks in the next one. He's got 19 on the night to lead the Bearcats. And that one rims in and out. Rebound comes down to Elwer. Evan Osting tries to grab it. They'll kick it back out to Feathers, who will bring it down the right side. This is Elwer up top, 50 seconds to go. Three ball on the right side. And it's good. Jack Gerker knocks it in. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout up here. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Delta St. John's High School, where with 45 seconds to go, the Spencerville Bearcats have a commanding 55-45 lead. And Tom, they, they played outstanding defense today and just enough offense to keep the Jays at length. Yeah, you, you, you got to give a lot of credit to Coach Sensabaugh because you can tell that everybody in a red uniform has bought into his defensive philosophy because they don't let up. That's a great point. This is Smith at the line. He's got 20 on the night, and that'll make it 21 to lead all of the Bearcats. So Bearcats lead 57-45, 35 seconds to go. This is Elwer. He misses that three. That's another Rusty Cafe three attempt. They'll swing it back out. Gerker with the ball, gets it back to Elwer. Elwer tries to dribble drive, and he's going to be fouled up top. He'll be fouled on the floor. He'll go to the free throw line. <laughs> He's played a fantastic game. And a, this is going to be a big, when you look back at the end of the year, this is going to be a big win on the road against a really good Delta St. John's team. Inbounds the ball, and there's a little short jumper. And that is going to do it. So the Spencerville Bearcats have come into Delta St. John's, and they've took home a 57 to 45 win. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Award. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. Welcome back to Delta St. John's High School, where the Spencerville Bearcats have taken home a 57 to 45 win. 
And now it's time for our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights on tonight's winner. So Dylan Smith is our Stolly Hustle Award winner. A fantastic job for him and the Bearcats as they win this one 57-45. For Tom Von Sossen, I'm Danny Holbrook and our entire WSN crew saying thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.